HiFlex is a model that allows learners to choose whether to attend classes in person or online, in a synchronous class with a teacher, or by doing asynchronous activities. Regardless of what format learners choose, it's important that the learning activities all lead to equivalent learning outcomes. Let's look at the technology that one adult education program uses in its HyFlex class. Hi, my name is Christine Dreeling. I am an ABE ESL teacher at the Hub Center in St. Paul, and I want to show you a little bit about how my classroom is set up with Swivel to have a HyFlex class. Uh, before we go around with equipment, I want to show you how I have my screens set up to project my class. Uh, this is one monitor, one external monitor that I use for my presentation, and this is one external monitor that I use for the Google Meet to, in order to see the student faces. Uh, I just want to show you, uh, when I have my computer in expanded mode or in, oops, sorry, or in uh, unmirrored mode, depending on if you're using a PC or a Mac, I put my presentation up here. And I use Pear Deck a lot for HyFlex. I think it's very simple and easy. Uh, and then I take my Google Meet, which is presenting that presentation also, and I put it on this screen over here on this monitor. So you can see I have a few um, Google Meets on right now, or Google few people on Google Meet right now, but you can see the how big the faces can be and you know up to eight or even 12 faces can be big enough uh, for your students so you can see them well. When I walk around the room you can see the different uh, pieces of equipment that I use for HyFlex. Of course I have my one computer over here. I just have my one computer and I have it expanded to two external monitors. The only way to do that is to um, plug in one monitor as you would typically, and then the other monitor, you have to have a special dongle that will, um, will separate it and put it into a separate um, plug into your computer. You cannot uh, use a splitter. It doesn't work because it will only mirror your image, and you don't want to mirror it. You want to be able to have two separate things showing at one time. So this is my Google Meet and this is my presentation. I can work with either one just by moving my mouse. You can see it's over here in my presentation. You can see it over here. Um, or I can move it over here to my Google Meet. And I can manipulate those screens however I need to. Uh, I also have my computer plugged into the Ethernet. I have found that uh, we, we, since we really depend on good internet connection for HyFlex, it gives me the confidence that I need to um, teach every day. We've had it many days where the internet will cut out or there's too many Google Meets going on in the classroom at one time and it's just too much, so it will just drop. And that's extremely frustrating during a HyFlex class when you're completely dependent on technology. Uh, as I walk over here, you can see the swivel. I have one set up just so you can see what it looks like. This is a swivel. I'm going to turn it around. Um, and on this, you would have it connected to the Google Meet as well. In the back of the swivel, you have something called a marker. And that is what I'm actually wearing on my around my neck right here. This controls the swivel. It controls recording. Um, and this is where my, it's my microphone, so my sound comes through here for my students to be able to hear me at home. Um, as I walk around my classroom, you can see this is my whiteboard. This is where I can put um, any of my lessons that I want and everybody at home is able to zoom in and see that. The biggest challenge is that people at home need to know to look at the different um, screens of the Google Meet to find which screen I'm showing on, which window I'm showing on. So I might be here and teaching, or I might be standing in front of my computer and giving something more detailed with my mouth or something like that. Um, it, it's a practice that they have to learn very soon when they get into the Google, the HyFlex classroom. 
Another thing I want to say that the swivel comes with this cord which will connect to your computer and oftentimes that's very clumsy and we trip over it and it's awkward. It doesn't, um, it, it doesn't fit into a nice high modern technology classroom and so what we have invested in is just these hundred dollar swivel links and it just connects to the usb over here on the computer and that connects to the swivel um, it works exactly the same way as the cord and then it's a lot less tripping in the classroom the nice thing with the swivel is that it moves around the classroom with me so if i'm talking to any students i can just have my swivel on right here and on each kind of group of three or four students, I would have another marker just like mine. It's another microphone. So anything that the students say or um, however they interact, everybody at home can see them as well. You can always turn the microphone off and it just it silences them so it's not distracting for people at home. So during a discussion time when you want everybody involved, there are markers set around the room the swivel comes with five markers, one main one and four extras, uh, and then those pick up the sound throughout a, a pretty large classroom. It, it's a, okay even for a large classroom. For people that are working at home, they are on Pear Deck, so I give them assignments, for example, uh, labeling a sentence with parts of speech. And at home, they would write it in Pear Deck, and I can edit it while they are writing. I will go there and talk to them on the Google Meet, as well as give feedback on Pear Deck. At the same time, my students in the classroom are writing the same answers, but they're writing them on the boards that are around the room. And I just want to show you, I'm about 10 feet from, let me lock this, I'm about 10 feet from the swivel right now, and even with a red marker, it's pretty easy to read, even if you're at home. As I continue around the classroom, you can just see how it's set up. As we go around the room, you can see um, how my classroom is set up. I wanted to show you how my classroom is set up for my students. I have four tables together with two markers on them um, and one student would sit at each table. This was due to COVID uh, where they could sit only three feet apart uh, at the closest. So it might change in the fall. I want to show you how my desk is set up during my class time. Um, as you can see here, I have my Pear Deck open. This is the teacher dashboard. So as the students are looking at the Google Meet and as um, I am presenting my different slides in the class, this is on my desktop so I can see how the students respond to different um, slides that I have and they respond right in here and I can see everything that they type in there at home and they will have the students in the classroom type into the Pear Deck as well. Uh, as you can see on the side of my computer here, I have an Ethernet dongle. Um, I need that to have confidence in my internet. And then I also have my power cord on this side. On the other side, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. On the other side, I have my one um, HDMI dongle from one of my external monitors. And then I also have the second one here plugged into um, the dongle that allows me to split my monitors, to have my monitors have different presentations showing. Um, I have the swivel link plugged into my um, multi-USB attachment here. And then I also have notes on my desk here of how to have everything muted or unmuted, what is plugged in where, and this is just in case I need it if I'm stressed one morning and I can't think through it and something's not working right. It's just a nice reminder to have that on my desk and it says um, the, this specific monitor is muted, this specific monitor is not muted. Uh, and then this screen is showing and this screen is not and it helps me to just focus of what's important and what I need for the day. One thing that is very important to not forget every night is to plug in your swivel. Make sure your marker is in the back. 
make sure your iPad is plugged in and that your swivel is plugged in. All, if you plug in the one power cord to the swivel, all three of those things will be charging. Um, and you will find, you will make a mistake and you'll forget to charge it one day, uh, but then you usually will not forget again <laughs> because it's very inconvenient to have to have it plugged in during the class. The wonderful thing we've learned about HyFlex is it's extremely flexible even for teachers. We need to find the equipment that is right for us. As at Hub Center, we went through a transition of trying to find what was working best for us. We started with Logitech webcams. Uh, we had one in the classroom that was just on the teacher and everybody at home, we could only see through a computer monitor. The students in the class could see the students through the computer monitor. That was the simplest, most basic way that we did it. Um, eventually, we added a second Logitech camera into the classroom that was facing only the students. So then the people at home could choose if they wanted to see the students in the classroom or if they wanted to see uh, the teacher teaching at the time um, or the presentation. Um, then eventually we changed to the OWL and the OWL was excellent in every way. It's wonderful. However, we did not have strong enough internet and we did not have good enough lighting in our classrooms. So the OWL was very jittery and, and that was really hard for students to, um, to appreciate during the class. So eventually we switched to the swivel. This was a long year of transition. Uh, when we switched to the swivel, everything came together and it was perfect for our program. It is an investment. However, as you can tell, the sound is excellent. Uh, the video is wonderful. The, you can record easily. All the student voices in the classroom can easily be um, put into the Google Meet for people at home to hear. Uh, and overall, we've found that it's a wonderful product for our program. If you have further questions about HyFlex, please visit the EdTech Center at World Education's website to read our guide for HyFlex in adult education classes. You may also want to watch our other videos showing adult education HyFlex classes in action.